I suppose it it starts with like a sense of dread, um, and I can feel that it's about to happen. Like a, it's also like a vertigo, that kind of feeling. Like um, like a, the, I can feel like adrenaline building in my body or something. Yeah. And then when it will happen, I'll become really disorientated, feel really physically sick, um, and it's like an overwhelming sense of a deja vu. <laughs> Temporal lobe epilepsy is pretty much a spark in the brain that triggers a seizure that revolves around these different things like mood, memory, motion. It was, it was hard to deal with when I was younger because there was absolutely nothing they could do for me or they couldn't begin testing me properly. I went from kind of just living with the seizures to then living with the seizures but also spending days in and out of hospital being tested, uh, different things like MRI scans, ECG scans, EEG scans. seizure will often begin with something that my doctors describe as an aura. Um, how I would describe it is it's a sense of dread. It's almost like I have a five second build up to the actual seizure and the way I can describe it is if I was to walk to an, uh, the edge of a cliff or I was quite high up and I looked over a balcony or something like that, it's like rising sensation like vertigo. Um, and then when the seizure kicks in, I lose the ability to kind of comprehend what's around me. And then this is often coupled with this uh, quite intense flashback that I'll have. It's uh, like the feeling of a deja vu. I have out of body experiences where I see myself. In, in the way of like writing conceptually, uh, I, it's definitely been a big theme in a lot of the music I wrote, uh, especially when I started the Adolescent Project and uh, now when I'm, I'm writing the, the record I'm currently working on, uh, they are kind of, you know, the, the theme is completely based around something that epilepsy has done to me or the way it affects my life. And also in the way that uh, temporal lobe epilepsy, you know, it, it deals with um, an emotive part of the brain. So I've spoken to doctors about it and they said that, you know, without sounding too kind of pretentious or anything, that maybe I would have like a more of an emotional response to the things that go on around me, which means that maybe I can, I can put that into music. It's important for the listener to be emotionally invested in the mood I was creating in the song. The, the concept or the, the narrative or the theme of the song doesn't have to be picked up straight away. I think it's quite a nice um, thing about the music where someone can relate to it with something that might have happened to them or, or something that's a bit more personal to them and they kind of perceive the music in their own way and then they find out about the story and they're like, Oh, you know, they, they can draw links between the two. So I think music gives me, a, you know, a kind of uh, ulterior medium to, or, or a way to express how I'm feeling, you know, without, you know, I don't know, without being too direct about it, I guess.